Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 5th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog analysis. So for this segment, I am going to talk to you about some reports that global electrical vehicle sales are surging. But before I do, I would like to dispel some misinformation that continues to circulate around the web with regards to electrical vehicles. So electrical vehicles are a much cleaner form of transportation than conventional internal combustion engine vehicles. And the re reason is that Electrical vehicles produce zero emissions in use. Uh, electrical vehicle production is often by renewable energy-based companies like Tesla that try and reduce their factory-based carbon emissions and their manufacturing cycle-based carbon emissions. And electrical vehicle batteries and battery technology can be mated to wind and solar to extend the use of these renewable energy sources. So synergistically, electrical vehicles ultimately have the opportunity to have um, near zero or net zero light life cycle emissions, especially when plugged into power sources like wind and solar. And even with the present state of play, electrical vehicles, even when mated to mixed grids that include fossil fuel based sources are much cleaner than internal combustion based equivalents. And we're gonna go into this a little bit more. I want to cite for you an article from CNBC uh, whose main points are that the oil industry is peddling misinformation about electrical vehicles. And you see this misinformation in the form of a public relations type campaign on the web where you have uh, posters spreading fossil fuel based misinformation and various aligned articles uh, circulating and, and media sources circulating this misinformation. But to be clear, electrical vehicles are cleaner and more efficient than conventional vehicles. Electrical vehicles are actually four times, three to four times more efficient than an internal combustion engine vehicle. Uh, reports against EVs are coming from oil-backed studies leading to skewed public perception of battery-run autos and electricity powered transportation will cause less pollution, less asthma, less cancer, and other illnesses associated with pollution from burning fossil fuels. Now let's dig into this a little bit deeper. So the Department of Energy uh, provides information about various sources of transportation. And so if you're looking at life cycle total life cycle emissions for a gasoline vehicle in the state of maryland where i live it's 11,405 pounds of carbon dioxide equivalent emission and this is just from the standpoint of climate change based emissions for a gasoline vehicle if you get an all electrical vehicle emissions are about one quarter to one third that of a, an internal combustion engine vehicle. Now, if you look at the annual carbon emissions from a gasoline vehicle, it's about 11,435 pounds, and you're looking about one third of those emissions from an all electrical vehicle. So just from a, a comparison base, basis, all electrical vehicles plugged into the grid produce far less carbon dioxide emissions and these emissions are even less when electrical vehicles are plugged in to a wind or a solar-based energy source and can approach zero if you start to remove all carbon cycle-based emissions or most carbon cycle-based emissions from the production chain. Now also to be clear, pretty much every material that goes into a gasoline-based vehicle produces carbon emissions in their production Gasoline itself is a major energy hog when it comes to refining it. So even just refining the fuel for a gasoline vehicle produces a, a major amount of carbon emission. Electrical vehicles, on the other hand, provide a hope for 
and, and a pathway for completely removing carbon emissions from transportation, vehicle-based transportation. So when we look at reports like this from inside EVs that show that in May, global electrical vehicle car sales are booming and expanding by 75%. This is a, a major advancement for clean energy systems. And, and if we're looking at May and, and 2018 in general, what we find is that electrical vehicles, and these, these are the, this is the red line on the graph here from the Inside EVs report, are, are surging throughout 2018. And it looks like we might hit close to 1.8 to 2 million electrical vehicles sold globally in 2018 and this is a this is a major advancement this is this is a, a groundbreaking achievement for electrical vehicles it's still a relatively small portion of the market overall but such rapid rates of growth will quickly uh, over over coming years start to overtake key ICE or fossil fuel based vehicle dominated markets now if you're looking at the leaders according to these graphs. So for the first five months of 2018, the top producers of electrical vehicles were in order BYD, Tesla, and BAIC. Now BYD is a, a Chinese uh, battery and electrical vehicle and uh, clean energy based company. It's a similar model to Tesla in that they produce um, Bat, primarily batteries and renewable energy-based systems. Uh, BAIC is, is a broader-based corporation. Um, so, so these are the top three. These, these companies apparently are going neck and neck. Now there's some indication that Tesla is outproducing even these major Chinese manufacturers. And uh, Tesla, according to its own internal reports, produced about 88,000 electrical vehicles through June and sold approximately 75,000 of those. If those numbers are correct, Tesla is, is the global leader. But according to this report through May, Tesla was number two. Now, uh, European manufacturers like BMW and Volkswagen are also manufacturing an increasing number of electrical vehicles with BMW um, having sold uh, approximately 44,000 through May and Volkswagen selling approximately 37,500 through May. Now these two manufacturers have stated that they have aggressive electrical vehicle production goals. And if they rapidly expand, they're, they're going to be major contenders as well. Now, some statements with regards to BAIC and BID with in comparison with Tesla. These uh, companies are, are seen as um, major national interest based for China and China has produced policies that are aimed at rapidly expanding electrical vehicles. And so these sales are, are being driven in large part by internal China policy. And, but it's also worth noting that the vehicles tend to have smaller battery packs than those produced by Tesla. So this Tesla number implies that Tesla is, is producing far more in the way of uh, gigawatt hours with regards to batteries than, than either of these two companies. Um, some other statements in general is that uh, Chevrolet and Renault and Toyota um, and uh, Rowe are, are still within the top 10, but 10 seem to be lagging. Um, however, the, they are a part of this larger overall surge in electrical vehicle production. Looking forward, it appears that electrical vehicle production will continue to grow rapidly through at least the next five years. And, and we're looking already, for example, at BMW, which is like as a major automaker is producing 7% of, of all its autos are now electrical vehicles. And that appears to be a trend for market leaders. So something to keep an eye on, especially from the point of view of both a market a auto market industry analysis and a renewable energy response.